My parents are living a life I don't want to live at 70. Women are really the pioneers of aging. A woman really needs chocolate. Love older women, younger men. Woman a pause. Yeah. <laughs> women who don't have to pause. We, we are best friends. Minnesota Okinawa. We are the Mountain Women of Jackson Hole. To your health. I have prepared myself to be where I am. Having a purpose is the key. People say I must be special to do this, but I'm not special. I just love. Part of my purpose is to help those little things make a gigantic difference. We all have challenges. None of us get through this lifetime without a hard time. Breast cancer is really a disease related to hormones. It's like the play, you know. My mother wouldn't say the word. Anything that you do to prevent heart disease also prevents cancer and makes you live longer and better. It isn't ever too late. Five girls to simulate what an actual jam would be. I cry, I feel much better afterwards. This is why I do what I do. Our estrogen decreases and it really affects our sex drive. The hormone changes, he ain't got no problems compared to that, I promise you. We're not gonna go back to hunter-gatherer, but we do have to make some changes. America's lifestyle is killing us. Age is just a number. The older a tree gets, the more beautiful it gets. It's not really a male-dominated world. Men just think it is. At the University of Michigan's A. Alfred Taubman Medical Research Institute, we're standing behind women as they embrace all of life to the fullest. New Step Ann Arbor, supporting the active lives of women with inclusive fitness products for over 20 years. The area agencies on aging serving Southeast Michigan are a trusted resource for and a proud supporter of today's aging woman. Hello, I'm Desiree Cooper. Staying active and involved in community events can contribute to healthy aging. In this episode, we'll follow one such active woman. Join us as we go behind the scenes with the chair of a gala fundraiser for the Detroit Institute of Arts. If you want to make a change in a community, work with the women because they're the ones who do things. That's gross. Yeah. Um, maybe we get some plain black fabric. To there's work. nothing that they can put on top. They didn't have anything to offer us, and I'm thinking that we might just go get some fabric to tack down. We might have to. It's hideous. But then... When the lights go down. Yeah, it's still hideous. Look at it. The tables we set till 2 o'clock this morning have all been moved. So the, the configuration is different than yeah. what you had laid out. This is an incredible room. And if you've never been through um, a docent tour of this, it is absolutely amazing, all the symbolism. I love art. It's like um, food for the soul. We are raising funds on behalf of the DIA to purchase works of art that are African and African American. We have a special guest, Danny Glover, who is our honoree today. Got to get dressed and get back here early, so I'm out of here. Just hurry. Okay. Hi, people. I'm late, as usual. It's me. Hi, Hi girlfriend. How are you? That's Shari. Hi, Shari. Yo, you look so pretty. Your hair is shorter. You look amazing. You're going to be so sophisticated tonight. Oh, my God, I'm excited. But I don't want to look like a drag. No, 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 no. I was just going to give you. <laughs> Gail is a ducted diva. No, I am not. I'm 66 and I got all my teeth. You know what? I'm <laughs> <laughs> short. Nice to How are you? And where's Danny Glover? <laughs> Who are my greeters? I have no idea what Danny Glover is. I'm calling Oren because he's handling Danny Glover tonight. Hey! I don't know if his car has picked him up yet. He's not here yet. What? That's why I'm panicking. I called. He was, they were still waiting for him. He had not come downstairs yet. And what that time was, about was that? Maybe five, ten minutes ago. Oh my God, there are no greeters here, and that distresses me. And I'm waiting for Mr. Glover, who is now 15 minutes late. Only 
30, 40, 45 minutes late. Good to see you. Tonight is it. This is the big show. Um, this is where we get the bulk of our money for the year. It's a tradition that's rooted very deeply in arts and culture. The Friends of African and African American Art welcome you. I feel great. We've gotten through the tough stuff and uh, things worked out the way they were supposed to. What do the Mercury Masters, the Border City Brawlers, and 71-year-old Brenda Badish all have in common? A never give up attitude. It's contagious. Let's take a look. I want to do things that I've enjoyed in the past and do them more. So I'm on the squash court again. I'm hitting the ball hard. I love it when I crush my younger male opponents. Just a feeling of girl power. Um, and I've taken up uh, one new sport that's a little bit unconventional, roller derby. Um, I saw it as a young kid on television and it was crazy. And I don't know if it's because I'm turning 50 and feel this need to do something a little bit out there. Um, but I think why I like the sport is that it's, it's like squash and cycling, great for the body, great fitness, but a wonderful group of supportive younger, middle-aged and older women. And they come from all walks of life. And when they get to the ice rink, uh, when, we, when we get together, it's just the girls having fun, being strong, um, and learning a new skill. So I think at any age, this is a good thing. Whether you're wearing neon and four wheels on your feet or, or whether it's some other sport, just go for it. Whiskey Sours, Ramen Noodles, Iron Driver, Betty Rampage, Bruiser, Foxy Peroxide, Dormy Pink, Catcher in the Roy, Shalmasaurus, Booty Fall, Pain Air, Lady Bump, Billy Hellyer, Iggy Pop Rock, Red Baroness, <laughs> Violent Lunacy, Russian Raven, Maratha Connie, Ruby Abuse Day, Starla Van Dodgen, Scrappy Doo, Chopped Alice, Tortures Tulips, Smack Daniels, Yankee Spank, Rocket Horror, Mad Attack, Firecracker, Cuddles to Pieces, Sugar Skull, Mod Broad, Angela Loba. You want to have your sticky wheels on the inside of the track and your whatever, and that just gives us more pull. Okay, so let's try this again. So we're gonna start off in just kind of engaging the edges of our skates, getting used to using them, and then build up, and then use it in a game scenario. Step together, step together, step together. But all I want you to think about is those inside edges. That's our sister almost free. With no shoes upon her feet. Each other This is going fast. Yeah. Yeah. 27 laps in five minutes. Or else you fail. And you go home. But then you come back and you try again. It's hard. I'm counting for Angie. She's been training all summer, so I think she can do it. Yeah, way to go, Angie! Keep it up, keep it up! Because the track is fairly small, you're cross-cutting all the time. So the faster you go, the stronger your legs need to be. So yeah, there's a major leg burn. It's kind of like if you're downhill skier, it's just starting to scream about halfway through. You just ignore it, keep skating. Plug in my seventh lap. I was burning. Going outside. Sorry. <laughs> Great nose. Feeling good. Feeling great. Feeling the derby love. Awesome. Brawlers. Ready? We're a sisterhood. We 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 stick together all the time. Uh, that they're like my second family. Derby's lots of fun. At the end of work, you get together with strong girls who are really supportive of each other on a team. 
Um, and a lot of ladies just don't get that opportunity. And these ladies are relentlessly positive and supportive of girls being strong. So what's not to like? We are the Mercury Masters because our group, our team, Mercury Masters is only women 50 plus. So you have to be 50. We started that uh, team in 1995. We're gonna just walk uh, to the next street here, whatever number it is, and we walk down to First Avenue, and there we start running. I run because it feels great. I run because I celebrate life. I run because it relieves stress in my life. I run because I'm motivated by my daughter. I run because I can. I run because I'm trying to preserve my organs until I die. I run because I stay balanced and it helps me to work in my classroom. I run because it clears my head, it keeps me physically fit, and it starts my day great. We all kind of met at the New York Road Runners Club. They have running classes and they have races every weekend. And so we kind of noticed each other and we started placing in our age group. And then we said, well, look, we're good. Why don't we form a team? because you get old. You get old because you stop running. Mercury Masters! My husband passed and it was kind of unexpected and when that happened I fell totally apart and it took me 13 years to get over it and that's where the weight came from. I'm Brenda Lee Badish. I am 72 years old. My heaviest was uh, about 272 or 273 pounds. I couldn't do anything, I couldn't even breathe. It was hard just to uh, get up from the chair and to uh, walk into the kitchen. I mean, I was gonna die. And I had to do something. Now coming to this gym was, to me, uh, my daughter having back surgery and deciding to come here is just the best connection that ever happened. Kelly had showed us around and she said she was a trainer and she was taking on new clients. So I said, okay, would you take me on? And she never hesitated. She looked up at me and she had this spark in her eye and she was trapped, this old woman trapped in this very large body. And I saw that spark and I said, I can work with this. Because if I see a spark in somebody, that means they have hope. I cannot picture it, anybody that would have even tried to take me on at that point, seeing the shape that I was in. And uh, when, it, when she said yes, it was like, okay, this is going to work. And it did. It worked perfectly. Kelly would have to help me up onto the treadmill so that we could even do any type of uh, exercise. And uh, it, was, it was pretty rough. She tried to give up lots of times. She tried everything just to stop because she just didn't want to do it, but she never did. I never let her. It was twice a week with Kelly, and then I probably was doing two on my own. And it worked up to what I'm doing today is about two to three hours a day, seven days a week. In the very beginning, she was not very positive that this was going to work. I then sat down with her and said, here's my story, because I lost a significant amount of weight. I know how to do it. She said, okay, I'm gonna do what you say. And that's why she's successful. And that's why she has a good attitude, because it was successful. I didn't lie to her. We developed a relationship, a very, very close relationship. And she trusts me. The total amount of weight that I have lost is 145 pounds. In the process, most of my friends, you know, have passed. And the ones that, are, that I still have, really can't do anything. We can't golf anymore. I can, but I mean, they can't golf anymore. They can't bowl anymore. So it was getting a whole new set of friends, and this is where they're at.
I turned uh, I was 62 years old, I was diagnosed with arthritis. And it started off with a cirrhotic arthritis. Went to the University of Michigan and um, worked with a doctor there. And he put me on um, Embrel. And it started at that point. And he, as we went, I had five different types of arthritis. And I was on medication for just about all of them. And the only one that I'm on right now is um, the Embrel, and we are working very hard to get off of that. As far as high blood pressure and um, cholesterol, those were very high. They were up. Um, I really never took any medication for them because I was totally convinced, do you take care of the problem? And that probably was another reason that I decided to lose weight. And of course, now all of these are down to they're all normal. Everything is normal. And to be able to say that, you know, I can walk today, I can do everything, uh, I can run, um, I, I'm still limited on some motions that I can do. But again, exercise and diet is really what changed those and got me off the medication. Of course, now I can do everything. <laughs> there isn't anything I can do. Brenda and I will be training for a triathlon in August, um, a half mile swim, a 12 and a half mile bike ride, and a 5K run. I had never tried um, swimming that far, and of course swimming is one of my, my weak spots, swimming that far, and then getting on a bike and riding another 12 miles and something, and then getting off of that and running. I don't think you're our spring chicken here today, though. Yeah. No. I never would have guessed. It's an inspiration. Awesome. Keep your foot down. <laughs> I just knelt on her toe. Just keep your foot down. How many people does it take to put a wetsuit on Brenda? I'm just uh, doing it for the cause here, okay? I'm not getting fresh. <laughs> Familiar, familiar, anything? Wait a minute, I think you need to pull it up on her legs. There we go. I think we need to get the front right. up. <laughs> the weather's a little cold today, so the lake is cold, so it's uh, wetsuit legal. So everybody's gonna have wetsuits on. We spent 20 minutes getting Brenda in this wetsuit. All right, so we're gonna be the last to get in the water. Marcello. Okay. That sounds good. Cool. Gonna let everybody go. Okay. You're gonna be on your right side. So okay. Right but it'll be your left arm. And I want you to stay ahead of me and look down at me so that I can lead you in a straight line. Okay? Okay. Sounds like a working plan. Brenda's my mom. Um, she's doing this is her, uh, this is her try. She's pretty excited. Honest to God, you did not stop. You are so amazing.
got one more leg and we're done. And it's gonna be your best time ever, ever. You swam faster than you ever swam. You bike faster than you ever biked. Easy does. We got time. Get her in, get her in. There you go. Electrolytes, get those in there. I think you're gonna be running with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Try the camera, man. <laughs> One foot in front of the other. She's doing great, better than she ever has. She is stronger than she's ever been. I paced her on the, the bike and she kept up. And then I dropped my chain and she passed me. <laughs> she kept going. Incredible strength, incredible woman. Really incredible. All right, now we're gonna finish strong. Unless I have to go, we got a problem. Yep. <laughs> Let's do this. We're not stopping. We're going all the way to the finish line without stopping. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. That's the way. Thank you for sticking in there. Right? The swim is 28. No! That's 28 you. minutes. 28 minutes for the swim. Awesome. Brenda! Brenda! Yeah! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> People come to me at 60 and say, I'm old. And I say, no, you're not. Because I've got somebody that's 72 who doesn't think she's old, and she's doing triathlons. My belief, because of my religious belief, is this is where the good Lord led me, and he gave me a gift of Kelly. I had a major accident at the age of 16. I went off a downhill course and hit a tree which left me spinal cord injured. And I had an epiphany one night while I was there in the hospital um, about why this happened and, and what it all meant. And that it was more than just this realm and this and that there was a lot of lessons, a lot to be learned through this experience. And it was all of a sudden 16 years old laying in a hospital for three months and all of a sudden I had peace. I was given peace. And ever since that epiphany, I have been okay, and I know I will walk again. You know, we all have challenges. None of us get through this lifetime without a hard time, but it has to start from your true love of yourself. My goal had always been to be an Olympic ski racer. I found a new way to do that, and I was able to get back out there. Go out there and chase your dreams, okay? Now you know what it feels like. Women can be great multitaskers. Taking on lots of projects may feel like it's driving us crazy, but in reality, it just might be keeping us healthy and engaged. Which brings me to our next episode, when we discover how having a life's purpose might actually keep you out of the doctor's office. I'm Desiree Cooper. See you next week.
at the University of Michigan's A. Alfred Taubman Medical Research Institute, we're standing behind women as they embrace all of life to the fullest. 